Nityanandam. My name is Manish. Uh, I know Swamiji uh, from uh, December 2009 and I have been his disciple. And as all the disciples are, and all the people who care about the Vedic civilization, the Vedic culture, and those who have been benefiting from it, like uh, streams like uh, yoga, Vedanta, Bhakti movement, and all those things, I have, I'm one of those persons who have actually benefited from it. So, uh, and Swamiji has guided that process, has showed me the path, has actually initiated me in multiple processes, given me the right guidance, and not only to me, but to also to my family and things like that. So, in fact, my daughter had some hearing problem and uh, Swamiji cured it and doctors were very, very surprised that such a thing can happen. So I have personally seen it in my neighborhood. There were people who were not having babies for almost 10 years. They tried in India, US, Europe, you name it, they tried it. But nothing was happening. And now they have kids. Uh, so I have seen things like that happen. And uh, what happened on uh, September 8th during the so-called test, uh, against the uh, complaint of uh, one person by the name Arti Rao, uh, who has alleged that she has been uh, raped. Uh, I, I, I obviously, I was very concerned that you know such a false allegation, which was uh, which has been put on Swamiji, uh, and the repercussion of uh, such an allegation on a great saint of Vedic tradition. Uh, and how such allegations is keeping people uh, who want this guidance, who want this support from uh, reaching out to him and, you know, taking advantage of his teachings. Uh, I find it very, very surprising that uh, Arti Rao herself has filed a case of alleged rape in U.S. She was the one who, you know, went into some publicity campaign, used her women uh, image as a, as, a, as, a, as a factor to, you know, make her point more genuine. L'Ohio court has looked at all the evidence and has actually told that first the CD is mocked and second the allegation of rape cannot be true simply because uh, she has a, a sexually transmittable, transmittable disease uh, since very long time. And uh, we have the medical records which actually show, say so. So uh, it is, uh, now I have few questions for Arthur Rao given these uh, things. Uh, being a disciple, being a responsible citizen of this country, being a, a person who cares about basic tradition, I have few questions for Arti Rao. First question is, Arti Rao, you are a U.S. citizen, and you have filed this case in U.S. against Swamiji. Now, U.S. court has given a judgment saying that this whole thing was maliciously and falsely uh, filed by you to uh, you know, discredit Swamiji. And now the judgment has come. My question to you is, why are you in India? Why don't you go back to US and face the re repercussions of your charges? Why are uh, you not coming out and now facing the media, the court, uh, and uh, why are you in hiding? That is my important question. And I have a feeling people like Arti Rao and Lenin have done great disservice to the Vedic tradition by keeping people away from what we need most. In fact, it is a very, uh, it is ironical that this test was done on 8th of September and 10th September is called anti World Anti-Suicide Day. I have a feeling because of my personal experience of Swamiji's teachings, I think one of the things where Vedic tradition can actually help the world is by, you know, 
removing this depression based uh, problems especially like suicide and all which is a very big problem in the world in fact now uh, other day i was reading a newspaper that india is becoming a suicide capital it's a shame that when swami ji is here in india we are becoming a suicide capital and people like uh, um, arthi rao and lenin because of whatever they did they are actually indirectly responsible for it because they have made common people find extremely difficult to reach swami ji and get benefited from the vedic uh, tradition teachings which he provides uh, all these depression based thing the problems with the education uh, the problem with the lifestyle the problems with uh, 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 creating responsible citizens of the world all those problems can be addressed if people become aware of swami ji's teachings and all these nuisances which these false cases are creating they are only serving one purpose keeping people in darkness and in their misery when the way is there to come out of it that's all i have to say on this thank you